what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. I told you I'd be back with another video quick. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm actually excited. I was going through the post on What's Up in the Sky group today and uh, Neville Thompson put up the Gigapan for the latest actual mass cam shots we had. And I, saw, I thought I saw some co something cool in it. It's been a while. I'll tell you what. The, the ones that have been coming down lately, I mean, the rover's getting old. It's been up there for a while. Um, they're looking pretty shabby, so I went in and I dumped this into, uh, I dumped this into, this is saw 2454, I dumped it into Photoshop, and I really want to pull up with this, this piece right here, these couple pieces right here, but really this thing right here is what caught my eye, um, but there's some interesting stuff, and a lot of, like, square blur marks, I mean, back in the day, and we're dealing with the JPEG images again, not PDFs. Lately, if you've been watching my videos before, I'm doing uh, older images that I'm going back and checking out, and they're like, you know, I, I go download them from the Planetary Database System, which if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've seen um, those are much better pictures. A lot of them are 8-bit. You convert them, you have to have a converter and things like that. Make it harder to do, um, but they're much better than these 70% JPEG files that they put on the website here. Uh, let me show you where I got it from, just so you can see. Like I said, this won't hit the, just for people who haven't watched me, like I said, about the, if you don't know about the planetary database systems, uh, JPL and the people who designed the rover and the pieces get six months jump on anybody else seeing the pictures in high, in actual raw format where you can, you know, take the raw format, take the label file, and use whichever program you want to use. I use a command line program. Um, old school, like back when I was throwing DOS down, you know, showing my age here. Um, but I was running bulletin board systems back in the day. Definitely a total geek over here. All right. So there's this little piece right here. You see where it's at? As always, this is one thing about my channel that, I, that I'm glad I started back in the day because now there's a lot of good people doing this. The link will be below. <laughs> And now I've got to go back and check. I've only got 600, 700 videos if you guys have been around for a while. And if you haven't, you just started watching, go check out some of those old videos. I'm going to be I'm gonna be going back, touching them up, and doing some, like, you know, not great greatest hit type deals, but back to them and put them out in PDS format where it's crystal clear. Some of them are crystal clear. You know, I'm a little, uh, I, I said, the rover's been up there for a while. So there's two images I got up from this one. Let's check this thing out real quick, and I will get you guys rocking and rolling. This image's got a lot of stuff on it. If you check out the website, I always put the, I put the the bigger file that I make out of it. I, I always upgrade these to 300. I've got an iMac here with a big screen, and it films it actually in, in the higher definition. So I always upgrade it to the 300 DPI. Um, which also allows me to see a little better things like this, like these blur marks right here that are just squared out blur marks and don't seem to be there for any reason at all other than A, NASA put them there, or B, the camera just can't deal with them. And if you've watched my channel for a while, I've always said that I think that the uh, anytime there's straight lines, you get these uh, the color marks, the registrations that seem to just pop up. But if you notice here, you know, these were much smaller pixels before. I've blown them up. So you're getting a little bit better view of this. So the sun's coming in off the right. But look, check this out right here. This is just cuts that rock off right there. These get cut off. So somehow it's getting done. It's either getting done on the rover, it's either getting on my NASA, or it's just crap cameras. So check out some of these little things with the three little pieces. Let's see. Sometimes I, uh, here, let me get a pointer. All right. Old school. I, I, like I said, I haven't done an image like this in a while because it just came from the rover. Actually, this just came out two days ago. But when I do them in this JPEG, I get upset because I see these blur marks. And I'm like, why are we seeing this? It's like, they're, they're not there for, well, look at this right here. Cuts off something that could be good. Who knows what was right there? Um, and when you get the PDS versions, a lot of them are gone. So I definitely recommend hanging around as always. There's a piece up here too that, that I've enjoyed. Once again, now let me show you another piece on this other one. Then I'm, we're going to show you some more of these square marks. And we'll go back to that. Check this out. This is another one from the same saw. And it's interesting. Uh, you know, they got some features here and there. Here, there, and everywhere. <laughs> Wrong key. But anyway, 
playing a lot. I was playing guitar here earlier tonight. Been doing a lot of that lately, playing. Um, and I'm getting back to making videos. This had like this platform piece here was pretty interesting, as well as a lot of the blur marks that are added in. I mean, look how this just kind of cuts off some of them. Good old, but, but this had like a levels, it seemed. If you take the colors out of your mind, these colors are supposedly, sometimes they, a lot of the people say they're added by the bare filter, which is uh, just a filter that goes on it. it. A lot of times that's the case, but they don't hide all colors. Sometimes you can easily bring them out. And I've also white balanced this. Like I said, the other one, this is how it came from NASA. So all I do is hit auto color. <laughs> Less is more for me. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't like getting in and doing too much sharpening. I don't use the blur tools and things like that. There's other guys out there, other gals out there to do that. And their videos are cool. And, uh, whether it brings out more obfuscation or not, that's up for you to believe. Um, what I like to see is stuff like this and like these pieces, intricate pieces where you've got, and the color does kind of throw that off when you see like the purple line across here, but um, something that looked like it was part of a statue, part looked like part of it over here. But what gets interesting is when this gets really interesting up here, you've got almost like a, a connected block. It almost looks like a Rubik's cube in a way. How many of you guys ever got, any gals, ladies, men, y'all ever get the Rubik's Cube? I see the kids doing them those, uh, in those competitions, so a lot of times in China and Japan and things like that. A lot of the Asian kids can get those things. I guess it's a mathematic thing, but never could get the Rubik's Cube. Not a, not a unless I took the uh, stickers off and did it. After I got it out of the box, it was done. But very intricate pieces, and once again, you get these little blur marks. Uh, I mean, I can see all sorts of things in there. It, it's definitely between these pieces, this piece, and that piece. And if you never watched my videos, say you just stumbled upon this, I'm not, not going to keep this one too long. I'm just going to uh, give you know, I, Mars got destroyed by something. Now, some people say it was a war. Some people say it was an asteroid. Some people say it was an interplanetary war. Something jacked it up. We're seeing a line. We're in a place. Like I said they came here for a reason. This was uh, definitely a water that had our area that had water. We've already seen water here. We were the first. Page, I was one of the first channels that pointed it out. The, the the drips that were coming down from these things coming out of the mountain, coming out of the uh, especially the lower land hills, and they every time it would jump up above freezing, it would do it. Um, but you're seeing a lot of layering because a lot of water was to run around. But, I mean, squaring off the blocks just, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It never had unless it was being done automatically or not. See, look, it just cuts the top of whatever this piece is. Cuts it right off. Like, does your iPhone do that? I mean, these are older cameras, of course. But literally, does your eye, does it do it? You know, mine does it, not even my old ones. And I've taken better pictures with Blackberries. And I can't complain. The rover's been up there for a while. Well, hell, I complain. You guys watched my videos before. But they've given us the goods. There's a lot going on. This is my last Space News. There's a lot going on in the world right now, especially when it comes to disclosure. And it's not from the government. You've seen the disclosure. People have watched these videos and come along and, and enjoyed and, like, looked into this stuff, obviously we know that something was on Mars, something was on the moon, something was on Pluto, other planets. So many videos we've done. It's just that there's an archive of stuff back there. And any new subscribers, I really hope you go back and check out some of those videos. I was much younger. I was much happier. No, I'm just kidding. I, uh, I've been enjoying, I'm enjoying myself lately. Playing music helps. You know, getting back into my hobby. It was been, like I said, everything's going good. Mom gets cancer treatment next week. So I, I open up my whole life on this channel to people. And hopefully that's why a lot of you stuck with me. This little piece over here. Now, see how this stuff just isn't like random debris when you sit here and take a look at it. Like, so I'm going to take a sit. Now, if you're on your phone or something, this would probably look good. And this, I know this, this happens. If you're on a big screen TV, that's going to look like junk. But if you're on your screen, you're on a small screen, that's going to look pretty good. That's going to look sharp. I even ran this one by mom today when I was cleaning up her uh, her 
she had this something called Mohs surgery where they take your skin cancer off you and uh, stitch you back up. But you've got to get, you know, you got to clean the wounds and stuff like that. So I was with her today. I said, hey, look, something actually came down from Mars. It was interesting today. Neville put it up on a gigapan. I had to grab it. But what do you guys think? Check that out. Like I said, this this piece down here, I mean, this is just uh, cutting off right at it. Where the heck's that? Yeah, down here. Bam. What a nice blur mark. And they're squared off again. I'll show you they're squared too because I, I like doing that. Old school. Boom. They're squares. And it just blurs off whatever was there. Unless that was sand. Sand that came right up to a, a you know a 90 degree angle with this piece right here. You can still see that some of this is there. But uh, I definitely don't think that was caused. <laughs> That's what caused it. But All right, guys. Much love to you all. Hopefully this didn't run too long for you. Up oh, 11 minutes. Some of my videos used to be 30, 40 minutes long. I don't see how you guys stand with me and listen to them. I still can't, but I invite you to go back and watch them. And I'm going to be doing some, some like I said, I'm putting up a video of a full space station tour. No green screens, no nothing. Just the, the guy going around giving a tour for an hour. So I'm going to do that soon, and I'm probably just going to comment on it. I've got some interesting ideas coming up. I want to do some interviews with some friends of mine, um, go through some of our archives, pull out the really good stuff. Like, there's artifacts that are crystal, crystal clear on this. And, uh, I still need to go back two videos and show you guys that whole gigapan of it. I mean, that whole area was amazing. And I, that was the one I put the actual – I'm going to put the little link up here right now. You can actually do that, um, well, wherever it is. The link's up there. All right. Much love, people. Come check out the website, whatsupinthesky.com. Uh, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. Hit the little button so you'll get notified. I'm going to be making more videos. Look, I promised some new videos, and look, we're here. We got three. I did two this week. Oh, my goodness. It's like a whole, whole other world. <laughs> like, I love you guys for sticking around, sending your well wishes. There's so many of you that... Uh, I've kept in touch with over the years, and it's just been fun. I mean, it's like we're just, we're exploring from here, and uh, like I said, I appreciate it. You guys have kept me sane. <laughs> Much love. Peace to you all.